But fair dinkum, Joe. We all know the true test of this, said it last night, repeat it now. Unless they're going to pull the vote that holds them together, I know you've got a rant ready, but let me finish. Until they pull, the, until they pull that, uh, then I'm sorry, it ain't a breakup. Go. Listen, this is just beyond the pale. Firstly, the Greens are the party of protest. They're a party of idiots. I've been at parties that have lasted longer than the Greens, that have had more booze, and at the end of them, after everyone had been drinking for 40 years, they still made more sense than the Greens. The Greens are lunatics. They are idiots. They are imbeciles. They are undergraduates. For one thing, the, their, key, their key argument was that the, Liber that the government was too close to the, the big three miners, that, you know, that the deal it had cut with Beatrice Rio Tinto and, um, and, and the, the other one you know, that this had somehow made, you know, that's right, and John Paul George. Uh, <laughs> yeah. that, Keep going, that, you're that, on that your somehow, that somehow this, this, you know, that it didn't raise any revenue because it was too soft because, you know, they hadn't made it stringent enough. They hadn't made the mining tax stringent enough. They cut that deal before the Greens signed the agreement to go into coalition with them. They cut the deal and the Greens said, yes, that's fantastic. And then when they get pretty much everything else that they want, but it turns out that the tax is a complete turkey, which everyone knew it would be, except the Greens, the Greens go, oh, we don't like you because you signed up with this big deal. I mean, what did they think they were doing in there behind closed doors? Did they think it was another 70s fondue party? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is just, this is rubbish. Yeah, no. If the Greens were a person, they would be a psychopath. They would be... They would, that is an absolute <laughs> psychopathic tendency. You are not giving me everything I want, yeah. therefore you are dead to me and I will destroy you. Correct. They are a party... There is, a, there is an idea that the Greens are, are just a benign kind of force. And yes, they are benign as long as, and only as long as, they are completely impotent. You give them the remotest amount of power, you give them the remotest amount of decision-making capability. I mean, the, the democracy, liberal democracy, is a china shop. It is a delicate system. And the Greens are this <laughs> giant, giant, steaming bull that are just running through it like mad little undergraduate children waving flags and preaching revolution. They should get up, get on the next boat to Cuba and leave the rest of us normal people alone. I agree. And that's our show for this evening. If you want to stay in touch <laughs> tomorrow night, we'll do Winners and Losers.